Okay, ISO line 8. Um, we're going to be testing our push-pulling skills here. So as before, 4 inch long model, inch and a half wide, 2 and a half inches tall. You can see we have a 45 degree angle here. We have kind of this H outline, or I outline I guess, depending on how you look at it. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with our solid. So as before, R for rectangle. Click once, move away. 4 comma 1.5 P for push pull click once go up two and a half inches okay first thing I'm actually going to draw here is I'm going to go ahead and draw this H shape that you see here and the way that's going to work is I'm going to go ahead and take a look at a few numbers um, I know this is three quarters of an inch that's three quarters of an inch it goes in half an inch and this can be figured out by knowing that once again three quarters three quarters add those two numbers together you get one and a half from two and a half basically means this is a height of one so it's three quarters of an inch half an inch in one inch down here we go let me go ahead and go to my right side view Zoom in. T for tape measure. I click once here and come down three fourths of an inch. And hit L for line tool. I'm going to go ahead and come in half an inch, 0.5. And if you recall, we come down one inch here. And then we just go over. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So T for tape measure. Click, come down, half, I'm sorry, three quarters of an inch. L for line tool. You come in half an inch or 0.5. And without even typing anything in, I can just touch this point, come over. That's a one inch long line. There I have my eye shape. Okay, now we're actually going to get rid of these two channels here. I'm just going to hit P for push-pull and take that one back. Do the same thing here. Okay, now I'm going to make my 45 degree line. So if you remember with the protractor, here's the protractor. I have a 45 degree line, which I'm basically going to define right here. So I'm going to click once here on this corner. Once again, if you don't see the blue protractor, just hover here, hold down your shift key if you need to, lock it in. Click anywhere. Um, better yet, click on that corner. Click. And I'm going to click either along this edge or along this edge. It doesn't matter. I'll just click along this edge one time. And I'm going to move away and type in 45. Now this time I'm going to use the L for line tool. And I'm actually going to draw a line from here to here. Now watch what happens next. P for push-pull. Click. Come down. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use my E for eraser. And I'm going to click on this corner. I'm actually getting rid of some pieces here. Okay. So you'll notice I've gotten rid of that piece. P for push-pull again. Okay, and now I'm going to set up another protractor. I'm going to go back to protractor. Click once, twice, and just type in 45. L for line tool. And then once again, P for protractor. I'm sorry, P for push pull. P for push pull. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. There it is. If you have some additional lines, like you can see here, you can get rid of those lines. And under View, we can turn off Guides. Okay, you might need to re-watch this video again if you didn't get it the first time. But this is not that complicated, especially with the use of the protractor. That really helps you get that 45 degree angle and push-pull with some ease. Go ahead and save your work and move on to the next drawing.